This nugget is about global warming, what it is and what it is caused by. In previous nuggets, we've looked at power stations, so we know that fossil fuel power plants release pollutants such as carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. Carbon dioxide is harmful to the environment because it is a greenhouse gas. A greenhouse gas is a gas that accumulates in the atmosphere and absorbs and emits infrared radiation. As well as carbon dioxide, the other greenhouse gases you need to be aware of are water vapour, methane and nitrogen oxides. Carbon dioxide is a compound made up of one carbon atom and two oxygen atoms. It is produced naturally when plants and animals respire. It is also produced as a waste product of the combustion of fossil fuels in power stations. Methane is a compound made up of one carbon atom and four hydrogen atoms. It is produced naturally in the guts of animals and is released during flatulence. It is also produced as a waste product of the combustion of coal in power stations, as well as during the transport of coal. Nitrogen dioxide is a compound made up of one nitrogen atom and two oxygen atoms. Nitrogen oxide is made up of one nitrogen atom and one oxygen atom. Nitrogen oxides are produced naturally when lightning strikes. They are also produced as a waste product of the combustion of coal in power stations, as well as fuel combustion in cars and other forms of transport. Water vapour is made up of one oxygen atom and two hydrogen atoms. It is produced naturally when water from seas, oceans and rivers evaporates. As the temperature of the earth increases, more water is evaporating, meaning more water vapour is collecting in the atmosphere. Greenhouse gases contribute to the greenhouse effect. You need to know what happens in each stage of the greenhouse effect. Greenhouse gases accumulate in the Earth's atmosphere. Solar radiation from the sun travels towards the Earth. Some of this is reflected by the Earth's atmosphere. Most of it is absorbed by the greenhouse gases in the atmosphere. It is then emitted onto the Earth's surface. This warms the Earth up. The Earth reflects a small amount of solar radiation back into the atmosphere. Greenhouse gases absorb this reflected radiation and they reflect it back onto the Earth's surface, warming it up even more. We need some greenhouse gases to keep the Earth warm. However, as more greenhouse gases accumulate, too much radiation is trapped by the atmosphere and the temperature of the Earth increases. The greenhouse effect contributes to global warming. Global warming is the gradual increase in the temperature of the Earth's atmosphere over time. Consequences of global warming are quite severe. For example, melting ice caps due to increased temperatures. This can cause sea levels to rise and increases the risk of flooding. More frequent and severe weather changes, also as a result of changing temperatures. And extinction due to loss of habitats and extreme weather conditions. To summarise, a greenhouse gas is a gas that contributes to the greenhouse effect. Examples of greenhouse gases include carbon dioxide, methane, water vapour and nitrogen oxides. The greenhouse effect contributes to global warming and an increase in the average temperature of the earth. The consequences of global warming include melting ice caps, more severe weather patterns and potential extinction. Keywords Atmosphere A layer of gases that surround the earth Pollutant A substance that has undesired or harmful effects on the environment Greenhouse gas A gas that accumulates in the atmosphere and absorbs and emits infrared radiation Greenhouse effect, the process by which radiation from the atmosphere warms the Earth's surface to a temperature above what it would be without this atmosphere.
Global warming, a gradual increase in the overall temperature of the Earth's atmosphere, primarily caused by the greenhouse effect. And extinction, when there are no living organisms of a particular species left on Earth.